Hello, and welcome to Tip of the Week. This week we're going to talk about how to detail an elevation in Revit, some tips and tricks you can make uh, you know, make your elevations look fun. The first thing you'll notice in this example is that there's a gradient background. This gradient background is coming from a sample file that comes along with Revit, but how do they make that gradient file or that gradient show up in the background? Well, you go over here to Graphic Display, and you'll see it says Graphic Display Options, and you hit Edit. Uh, as you go toward the bottom, you'll see it says Background. You can drop this down and say Gradient. Uh, if you hit Sky and I hit Apply, you'll see our changes to the graphic. Um, and I'll go down and set it back to graph, uh, to Gradient. And you can change the colors as needed. These here do have, uh, these are presets, but you can adjust them. Um, or just write these numbers down if you're looking for that same thing. You can also save this as a view template and recall it later if you have other elevations that you want to match. So that's a nice little tidbit there. I'm going to hit Apply on that so you get that soft uh, background. Now, some other things you may run into is when you're working is that you have a line or lines that aren't, aren't supposed to be there. And that happens sometimes in Revit. So what you can do is use some tools in Revit to actually remove uh, line work. Now I'm going to come down here and turn the shadows off. Uh, we have the sun path on and I'm going to turn the shadows off just so you can read the line work a little better. And here's an example. Let's say for some reason we do not want to see the lines between these two windows. Uh, maybe it's going to be a single unit, and that, that line between it is not supposed to be there. We'll go up to the tools up top, and I'm going to go to Modify. Now, I have some other bonus tools in here that I use. Uh, we'll cover that in another video. And I'm going to go to Modify, and I'm going to come over here, and there's a tool called Line Work. Uh, line Work Tool, LW for short, gives you the ability to take lines and actually remove them or enhance them as needed. So let's take a look. I'm going to drop this down. I've highlighted it, and I'm going to drop this down. I'm going to say, let's set this to, instead of overhead, say wide lines. Now when I pick that line, you notice how it just got thick. I pick that line, thick, and I come over to the edge here, thick, and thick. Now if for some reason it's too long, when you do it, see that blue dot? You can grab that blue dot and drag it down. So notice how I was able to kind of manipulate this a bit. So what that does is, if the window was to move later on, let's say you're working in plan, and you take this window, and you maybe move it over a foot. Hit the move command. I pick a point. I'm going to drag the direction I want to go. It's in metrics. So I'll just pick a point. Notice how the window moved over, and notice how the line work moved with it. So as you embellish your elevations, if you do make changes uh, in plan or, or elsewhere, those will um, be accommodated here. This is per view. Uh, this only happens in each view. It's not a global thing. Now, uh, what if we want to get rid of that line? I'm going to go ahead and hit undo on that, and it puts the lines back together. If we go back up to line work, we'll drop this down, and see it says wide lines. I'm going to use one called invisible lines. By using an invisible line, now when I click on this line, you'll notice that it, it seemed to go back to normal, but what happened was one of the edges disappeared. Now being we have two windows touching each other, we're going to go ahead and hit the window again, and now you'll notice that it's gone. I hit escape twice, and I'm out the command. So this will re be retained in this view um, until you uh, put it back. Now what if you say, oh man, I want it to go back the way it used to be. Well, if you're an AutoCAD user, uh, you could override line weight, override line color, and then if you didn't like it anymore, you'd go back and set it to by layer. Now, AutoCAD uses layers, Revit uses categories. So if we go back up to line work again, I drop this down, I fire it up, and you'll see that we have the little uh, option here, by category. So remember in AutoCAD, you grab an object, put it back to by layer, or we're going to put it back to by category. We pick the line or lines, and notice it goes back to category. So that's a quick way to make that happen. Now if you have to add some more line work, I'm just going to pop these around, make them go back to normal, just so it's easy to read what we're working on. Now, let's say I, I want to show some trim on here, and I didn't have it in, in the model, and I'm just it, I'm doing this quickly, and I just want to use line work to make that happen. Um, in Revit, you can go up to Annotate. Now anything on the Annotation tab is per view. Now I'm going to start the Detail line. This is going to give us the ability to manipulate or draw on top of the elevation. And I'm going to say, let's go ahead and draw, put a line here. Now, if I put the, hit the line button, I can draw a line just like so. So let's say I had some little element here that I wanted to show. Now, you'll notice how it's showing a hidden line. Reason being is because, well, that's what I'm drawing. You see a hidden line. Just like in AutoCAD or any other application, you can out, uh, adjust these elements. Now, if I put a window around those four items, you'll notice I can come up top. And I drop it, and I'll say, let's make this now maybe medium lines. You notice how it changed. So if I have to add um, embellishments to elevation, you can see how that was done. Uh, again, this is just line work. Uh, if I was to print this out, it would look just like that. Now, let's take a look again at this uh, window. 
I want to go around and put uh, say some trim going around it. So I'm going to go back to my detail line again. Uh, at this point, we are working in metric. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I want um, maybe 100 uh, millimeters. So I'm going to, in this time, I'm going to use the pick line. Pick line. We're going to use maybe a medium line so you'll see it in action. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the offset right here to 100. Now this is kind of a cool tool because I hover and I pick. And you see I put the line there. Hover, pick. Hover and pick. Now they have to pick the right line. You can see it's picking up stuff in the background. And at this point, I'll use the old trim to corner, and we can clean these up like so. So uh, that is another embellishment that we can do that added, in, in theory, like trim to go around here. If you need to draw a line, you can draw, or you can use the pick line with an offset to move fast. So there you go. There's a handful of tips on editing your elevations in Revit. If you enjoyed that and you'd like to have us come to your office and help you out to optimize your Revit, feel free to contact us. Uh, our web address is thebimguys.com. Thank you.